Divine Truth Discussions Informal group and individual discussions with or between Jesus and Mary about various topics and issues. Jesus and Mary discuss how people will feel about them and react to them when they become at one with God. Recorded on the 22nd of September 2015 in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. I felt really emotional all of a sudden. I just needed to feel it. It was a good emotion about it, obviously. I had an addiction to want to sort of share it or impose it or something. Yeah. Sorry about that. So, so we only got four of them done. Five of them done. Four. Five, including the intro. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, well. But all that stuff you started to say about um, as you become at one with God, then people have um, a similar opinion of you to what they Yeah, have I can before. feel in you, you don't want to believe that. <clears throat> yeah, that must be my resistance. That's your resistance. You, that. you, don't want to, you don't want to believe that. You want to believe that when you're at one with God, everyone will love you. And it's not true. No, look, look, if you look at everyone, how everyone feels about God, not a lot of people love God. No. Because God doesn't feed everything they want. Yeah. So how can we expect that everyone loves us? I thought, yeah, and it's interesting, guys, I know what you're saying. And I think because I've had this experience where I have, like right before you started talking about that, I was feeling really like a lot of, lovely feelings about you yep. and I think what I suddenly felt that's only because you've progressed yeah it's not because I have I know but I thought then I think I went into this thing of like no but if everyone challenges their addictions they're gonna love you too they will <laughs> um and like that's a, kind like, of where I started and then I just got but, but, but that's not you know yeah that's not going to be everyone on earth initially like over maybe thousands of years that might occur, but initially no, because it's like it's an impossible occurrence because at the end of the day, while a person has their addiction, you, you remember when we first met, you didn't love me very much. No, right? not You didn't at all. admire me, love me. Oh, if, uh, babe, anything. I was so harsh on you. I was so judgmental of your love, what I now value so much in you. I judged so mm. much in you. I felt like... Um, even when I loved you, you thought it was ulterior motive. Total, I didn't trust the love you had for me. I didn't when I was believe. sexually attracted to you, you believed I was attracted to somebody who you weren't. Yes. And there's all sorts of things that were going on, right? So many things. Like, And I look back on it now and I, yeah. But that's how the average person is going to be. And the more we become at one with God, the closer we become to that condition, the more people are going to feel that. It's going to be like an instant reaction. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like people... People who are not loving won't even be able to bear to walk on the property. Yeah. That's how it's going to get yeah. eventually. Yeah. People, they won't even be able to bear to be anywhere near. They just feel so angry. And so well, they'll either feel angry or afraid or, or whatever judged, it is. that Yeah, you know? judged or whatever yeah. it is they feel. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. But, but they won't recognise it as love. They'll recognise, they, they'll, they'll see it as all these other things instead. Yeah, I feel really sad about it. For a while, until yeah. they progress, and then they recognise it. Yeah. You, you think about it, it's only by your own progression that you've recognised and allowed true love to start entering you. So if you had not progressed, what would happen? Yeah, I, w I wouldn't have any sources of true love in my life. You wouldn't be in my life, God wouldn't no, be in my life. No, but you, you think that those other sources would be love. Yes. I would have been married to a man like Hassam who just <laughs> did not love me in the slightest yeah. but met a lot of my addictions, addictions. and my facade-based desires. And you'd see that as love. And, I'd, yeah. and then if someone like me come along, you'd be like angry. Condescending, Condescending angry. Condescending, belittling. Uh, and I'll also feel internally judged by you, by your goodness. Like yeah. All the things I was like when I met you. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the average person is going to feel. We can't expect them to be feel any different. No. You know? But I think, I think, I think that I have more compassion for that response now. I'm still afraid of it, but I think I do feel some softening about it because I've started to let, thinking about this on my walk, I feel like I'm 
more compassionate towards myself since I started to let more love in. I'm less hard on myself. And so when people are mm, But harsh, you're still not seeing it from their perspective. You're only seeing it from your own. The reality is if you become at one with God, which is the perspective yeah. we're talking about, other people will treat you harshly yeah. more more quickly than they currently do. But it'll affect me less, I think, is it won't what affect I'm you at all. aiming at. Yes. It won't affect you at all. I'm talking about their treatment of you, not your response to it. You're talking about your response to it. That's why I feel more hopeful, because I feel my response is not so terrified or self-critical or anything. Correct. Oh, I you have see. these emotions and I don't understand what I'm feeling. Like I feel suddenly more hopeful about everything. Like I was sitting here feeling so happy about what we're doing, about being with you, about all these things. That's because all these other things are having less of an effect on you than they did at the beginning. Yep. And that's because you've progressed. But it's not because that other people have progressed. No. It's because you've progressed. That's and what I'm saying. Then I go on to say, oh, I'm hopeful that other people will progress. And that's really not what I was feeling. What I'm feeling is I just feel really happy to be doing, having my life with you. Correct. It's because you've progressed. And now that you've progressed, you have some hope. Yeah. That you didn't have before. Yeah. And true, as they progress, they will have some hope that they didn't have before. And they'll be able to recognise love they didn't recognise before and so forth. That all, is all true. But... That doesn't mean there's not a big groups of people who don't <laughs> just do that. So angry. Yeah. Who are just more triggered, more. Yeah. It's like a knee jerk reaction. Yeah. They'll, they'll have this knee jerk reaction to your progression. Yeah. Now, some people will have a nice reaction if they desire love and desire truth and they start to recognize it, then they'll have a nice reaction. But the reality is, most people don't have a nice reaction to God mm. and so most people are not going to have a nice reaction to you when you're at one with God yeah like that they, they won't understand why they have a bad reaction it's a bit like you know how we had a family over the other time and yeah. everyone couldn't understand why they have such a negative reaction yeah all right it's not yeah. like I treated them badly or anything no it's just a bizarre thing to witness because you just being normal at, like not even just not saying even anything, anything, not even confronting truth or anything, and everyone's got a negative reaction. Yeah, and that's yeah. how it is. Yeah, you can't, you can't expect it to be different to that. Yeah, initially. Yeah. In the long run, it will be like in time. Like if you look at yourself now, and then seven years ago, seven years ago, that was your reaction. You were yeah. angry most of the time with yeah. me. You couldn't bear what I was saying most yeah. of the time. Yeah. You were criticizing most yeah. of the things I was saying. And if you couldn't criticise them openly, you would just sit there and see them project at me instead. And I was one of those people that would have got kicked out of your seminar. Well, like yeah. Well, well, no, I'm pretty tolerant in seminars, really. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't get kicked out who probably should. But, yeah. but the reality is that you were there doing all of those things, right? It's only as you've released your addictions mm. and dropped your facade that you recognise love. Yeah. And the more you recognise love, the more you enjoy it. Yeah. That's what true love is like. And right? the less invested I seem to be in everyone's responses to me. Well, that's because you've released the emotion of your response to their response. Yes. Does that make sense? You're no longer, you yeah, are no longer sense. concerned about their response. That gives you more freedom. So you're not worried about it anymore. Yeah. So you feel better. Yeah. And, and that's true. When you become one God, you feel yeah. the best. Does that make sense? It's like mm -hmm. you feel... You, their negative response won't even, you barely even clock it. That's yeah. what happens with me now. Like, yeah. I barely even notice it. You've got to point it out to me after yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, so they did. But, <laughs> I, you know, it doesn't, you don't absorb it. Yeah. You know, it's only through specific things that I absorb it now yeah. with the injuries. But as you work on those particular things, eventually you don't finish up absorbing it. Mm. And, mm. and then you feel good, even if other people don't feel good, don't about, feel good you. about you. Yeah, At the moment, when somebody else feels bad about you, you feel bad about you, or you used to. Well, now, I, no, now I, just less. I just think what is just clicking in during the recording was just feeling that that's shifted in somewhat in me. I'm not going to say that if people start attacking me, I'm not going to feel bad, but holy mackerel, babe, I feel pretty different about it than I did of course, a month or Because two you've ago. released the fear, you, the terror you had 
at being disapproved of, for example. Ah. You've released a lot of that already. So, so now you're less terrified. And so terror, the terror doesn't, doesn't control your interpretation of love. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, right. Whereas before, terror was controlling all of your interpretations. It do, and it also doesn't impact on my enjoyment of love and my enjoyment of my, my passion, you know, expression of expression my passion. Expression of your passions and stuff, yeah. yeah.